Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about meditation, but let me ask you something about that practice or your meditative practice. Do you have problems with it? Do you have, um, do you get feel that you get yourself frustrated because you can't clean, you know, you can't kind of clear your mind, uh, or you just don't seem to get anywhere with it? It doesn't calm your anxiety, or it doesn't give you deep insights that you're looking for. Well, if you are in that space, and most people are, whether whether they're in business, uh, whether you're a coach, um, whether you're a spiritual teacher or an author, no matter who you are, we all want to try and meditate. We, we all recognize the benefits of meditation, but people give up because they don't get measurable results from it. Well, in today's lesson, I am going to teach you two secrets of meditation that are going to get you measurable results things that can actually change the dynamic of your meditation and an understanding and awareness of what it is that makes that dynamic change and how you can unlock the keys to a successful meditative practice. So when we come right back, we're going to dive into the two secrets of meditation that will change your meditative life. God bless. Okay guys, welcome back. So, as I said, we're going to talk about meditation. We're going to talk about these two secrets that I have. And, and it's very simple, but it's really when you understand and you have an awareness and you take action on what I'm telling you, your dynamic of meditation is going to change. It's going to change your life. So, and how does this, this, does this work or how does this, you know, why does it matter? A lot of people give up meditation, they give up their meditative practice because they don't get measurable results, because they don't seem to think that it, it's working for them, okay? They don't seem to think that, that it, they're getting much benefit from it, or they're not getting any deep insights, they're, they're not meeting the guides, they're not meeting, uh, they're not getting information, you know, maybe they've got anxiety, they're not calming down. So, there is two mistake there's actually a big mistake that people use that people do actually sorry not use and that is and that's fundamentally utilizing um, meditation uh, with music and visualization and all that kind of stuff and expecting to get the same results and the same insights as you would normally get whether you're a business executive trying to calm yourself, whether you are a medium, whether you're an author, whether you're a coach, a life coach, a business coach, an executive coach, no matter who you are or what you do, okay, uh, we all have the same capacity for meditation and we all have the same ability to meditate. What we miss and miss the point on is that insights do not come from one particular technique that you use. There's so many different ways to meditate, but really there is only two fundamental secrets that you need to know to get measurable results. And we're gonna go straight into that now, okay? First one, very easy. When we meditate, we do a visual meditation, okay? We go through a visualization. And I term that basically as a visual meditation, a visual technique in meditation, okay? You can, or, or people will call passive and active is, is the two types. In visualizing the meditation, what you're actually doing is, and I do this when I take students through a meditation, I'm training their mind. That's all I'm doing. I'm training your mind when I take you through a visualization. When I train your mind, I'm allowing you to raise your vibration a certain way, to be able to train your mind to accept a meditative practice and to start to calm down the mind chatter that's in there by making you focus on a direction that I take you on. So that's why many people don't get so great results from that type of meditation because even if you are chanting, which is an active way of meditation, you are changing the vibration around you. When, you're vibe, when you are using your clear voyant capacity within you, you are changing the vibration to a certain extent and f touching the void of spirit, you're not actually getting there, okay? You are basically sitting in 
a, 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 a meditative practice and utilizing visual or auditory stimulus stimuli to be able to train your mind to accept the act of meditation and to get you to a point where you can have a longer period of time where your concentration is deeper. So you're not really going to get the insights and that's why people don't meet their guides so much and that's why people have difficulty in that aspect of it. So what is the biggest secret? That's secret one. What's the biggest secret? The second secret is what I like to call communion with spirit, okay? Communing, like bringing together, joining, having a, having a meeting, communing with Spirit, and I don't mean necessarily spirit guides, loved ones in spirit. I mean communing with the divine power that's within you with no stimulus, okay? With no auditory stimulus, no clairvoyant visualization, no guided imagery by a teacher because then you're training the mind. What we are doing now when we just sit in silence, okay? and we commune with spirit, we commune with the divine power within ourselves, we allow ourselves to raise in that vibration, to become harmonious with divine resonance that's, that's within us. That is what I call communing with spirit or communion with spirit. And some people, mediums call it, you know, um, uh, sitting in the power and all this kind of stuff. And there's, there's so many different ways to think about it. But the reality is in all the days that, that I've been operating as a medium, that I've been working as a medium, and even in my business practices, if I needed insight, if I needed deep insight, if I needed question, answers to questions that I had, then I would commune with spirit, okay? I would commune with divinity because that's where I'm going to get the insights, okay? If I wanted to train my mind to reach a, a deeper vibration, and, and maybe taking me within different states in meditation. And that's another lesson that we're going to go through, the different altered states. But the different states in meditation, then I could go through a visual, an auditory, um, a, a clairvoyant or a clairaudient practice to be able to train my mind. That's all I'm doing. I'm training my mind to accept the process of meditation and to change the vibration around me. But when I move to the aspect of communing with the divine power, with divine um, harmony, with divine love, with understanding my own divinity, my internalized divine power, the seed that is within me, that is when I get deep insights. That is when I can get measurable results. That is when I can deal with the misharmony, the disharmony in my life, when I can reduce anxieties, when I can get so much information from the other side that helps direct me in my future endeavors. So if you take these two secrets, if you take these two skills, these two aspects of meditation and separate them and do this twice a week, once a week where you, you sit with um, yourself in divine power to harmonize your divine authority and your divine will and what is inside of you. And then you take some time to go through your visualization. You're training your mind and you're raising your vibration to commune with spirit or commune with divine power. You're bringing these two then together, okay? This changes the whole dynamic of your meditation. In my work as a medium, as I said, if I wanted to get divine and deep insights, then I would just sit and commune with my spiritual power, my divine power within me. And that's also how you meet your guides. And that's how you get deeper insight with higher level spiritual beings. I'm not going into any of the other channeling and all that kind of stuff because um, I have... <clears throat> other things to, to, to say about that. There's other lessons on that, more from a parapsychological factor and a scientific factor. But what I will say is that we all understand the power that we have within us is, is hardly touched, okay? And to, under, to, to separate our two practices in meditation actually makes us stronger, makes our divine power stronger and makes our insights deeper. So try that guys, try and separate your meditative practice into communion with divine power and visualization. 
Yeah, I mean, there's so many different labels for meditation and different techniques and things, but really there's only two main secrets. And one is utilizing spiritual uh, gifts like visualization and utilizing your clear audience or listening to music and having an effect on your vibration. Or the other is actually sitting in power, in divinity, in harmony with divine power to get those deeper insights separate them into twice a week. That's all you need to do. You don't have to do it every day. You'll still get just as much benefit from doing it twice a week than you would doing it every day. But there you go. Take those two separate techniques, those two separate skills, develop the power in your mind, develop your mind power for meditation, and then develop your divine power for the self. That's exactly how things are going to work for you. God bless.